You're listening to Brian Sussman on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. Idiot real time, often imitated, never duplicated. Joe Biden, Robert Gibbs, Nancy Pelosi, Harry Reid, Eric Holder, Shabazz, the guy who runs the new Black Panther Party, Michelle Obama, King Samir, who's in the Black Panther Party, guilty of voter intimidation. Here you go, ladies and gentlemen, the idiot real. Good to see you, but in, in full disclosure, you talked about the Secret Service. Yeah. Uh, I just want you to know they are armed. I know, I know, I know that. And they're mine. I, I, I think there are no doubt that there are a lot of seats that will be up, uh, a lot of contested seats. Uh, I think uh, people are going to have a choice to make in the fall. Um, but I, I think there's no doubt there are enough seats in play uh, that could cause Republicans to gain control. There's no doubt about that. Well, I don't think there's much likelihood, but any time the White House wants to lower expectations, uh, that's okay with me. But we have absolutely no intention of losing the House. Uh, we have met before. How would you, <laughs> how would you describe your, your relationship with the Speaker? Cordial. And don't just say uh, unions are a powerful force. Uh, you know, Wall Street uh, destroyed $11 trillion worth of wealth. That's pretty powerful. No union can ever do that. Yeah, and there's the tea baggers, there's the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, there's all manner of interest. And the key to democracy is, is leadership that can forge the common purpose. And that's what I feel my entire life has prepared me now to take what I've learned, work with these divergent, conflicting factions and get this common pathway to the future, uh, seizing the assets of California, which, okay. after all, is still the eighth wealthiest uh, political entity in the world. That's the reason we need to, need to do comprehensive immigration reform. We cannot do it piecemeal. There's many U.S. citizens who are unemployed construction workers, and they don't have specific jobs because right now some of those construction companies find it easier to hire undocumented workers. I think that... Any information you have in that regard is absolutely without foundation. If the law, for whatever reason, happened to go into effect, that six months from now, a year from now, we might not look at the impact the law has had and whether or not see whether or not there has been uh, that racial profiling um, impact. And if that was the case, uh, we would have the tools and we would uh, bring suit on that basis. Here comes the genetic descendant of the White Citizens Council. Caring signs and slogans like Lynch, Barack, Hussein, Obama, and Lynch, Eric Holt, with hopes and dreams of tearing our nation apart at the very moment it needs to be put back together. I think that what Mr. Jealous has said and, this, and the NACP is saying is that they, they should not tolerate any type of uh, racism in their ranks. And, and, I, and I think that we all believe that. So, um, no, I don't think they went too far. Mr. Bin Laden, you got to give him his respect. Got to. He's not bowing down. He's a Mr. Bin Laden is standing up. That's right. Uh, Will you apologize for being a political prostitute for Bill O'Reilly, a white male chauvinist, racist, as You're a woman calling, of color? You want to call me a as whore a, a, on national a, a TV? Yes, There's only one whore on this split screen, and it's you, as, Mr. As Shabazz. As a woman of color, you should be ashamed of yourself. I would say that the new Black Panther Party is not a hate group or a racist organization. I told you last night the Tea Party is arming. The white man already been armed. He's just arming even more. I don't even see how we got a discussion or a debate in the black community on whether or not we should be armed. I am extremely sure that we do not have a policy at the Department of Justice of never prosecuting a black defendant if the victim was white. I'm sure it may say that somewhere on the internet, but that doesn't mean it's true. As to the Black Panther Party, I'm simply not aware of that case. When African American communities are still hit harder than just about anywhere by this economic downturn, and so many families are just barely scraping by, I think the founders would tell us that now is not the time to rest on our laurels. When stubborn inequalities still persist in education and health, in income and wealth, I think those founders would urge us to increase our intensity. 
How many of y'all are actually tired of police brutality? Raise your black hands. Everybody hands should be up. Nobody hands should be down right now. Seriously. If you're tired of police brutality, raise your black hands. Now, how many of y'all want to know the quickest way to get rid of police brutality? How many really want to know? The quickest way to get rid of the police brutality is to get rid of police. You know Let's what? It wasn't in defamation and libel. Excuse me, that. I'm talking, so shut your mouth. Well, be We're honest when you excuse speak, and I won't me. have to interrupt you. Excuse me, be please truthful be quiet. And I won't have to. Hey, be quiet. Where were you speak guys when, you know, Larry, can you just turn off our mic? This is ridiculous. I love fighting me some crackers. <laughs> Straight up. I love fighting Peckerwood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Officer Cracker. It's time for us to close yep. it out on a Friday. Idiot Rail, if you're my friend on Facebook, Brian Sussman's show, Irene down Texas Way will be posting that uh, in due time today. Have a great weekend, everybody.